coming out here that the following is going to prove that you should follow rules and not, uh, not break them. Because uh, a couple of rules. First, um, these two people have not been in my reading group. <laughs> so uh, I bear no responsibility. <laughs> and then the second thing is you're supposed to read your paper by, on your own. You're not supposed to have. Uh, so I'll call on Pat and or Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> So the paper I picked um, was after Queens and Macroeconomics uh, with Robert Lucas and um, <laughs> And um, good news. So I work at Fed, and in the in the in the vaults we keep security tapes. So we had a security tape of them revising their paper. <laughs> so we thought we would bring out the tape and show you how it all went.
chapter 5, footnote 7. There is a passage he has there which actually shows that Cain was thinking, no, no, was thinking along those lines. So you you okay with that? I I think we chop the last sentence and move on. Well, I did sort of put that plug in there about matrix requirements because <coughs> I thought it'd be good just to get together because I know. All right. I know. All right. All right. All right. So um, the next thing I think we've got to do is we've got to settle on some notation. And here's what I came up with. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I had something a lot like that. Also 
to the seat. You know, I gotta go. I'll see you later. <laughs> Macroeconomics to me is for someone to work out the details of how to cleanly specify the dynamic general equilibrium model, work out the cross equation restrictions, and estimate it using steady art maximum likelihood techniques. That's what we need. I think I'll do that. <laughs> Someday, someone, someone might eventually recognize just how important that is. <laughs>